Hello, my name is Paul Bettings. Let's talk photos. So we went to Costa Rica. about that low quality turtle shot but a video clip of a baby turtle going into the ocean has to be in an opening video about Costa Rica. Now this wasn't a work trip so I did not bring any of my fancy cameras uh, but what I did bring was my iPhone and an old GoPro to capture some video. So what I thought I'd do for this video is give you some insight into your iPhone's camera functions um, and show you how you can get some better imagery with your phone. So here are my six tips on how to get better photos with your iPhone. Tip number one, clean your lens. Cleaning my lens is the first thing I do before I take a photo with my iPhone. I just use my t-shirt um, or if I have a lens cloth, I'll use that as well. Uh, this will just help with the uh, clarity and the sharpness of the image you take. Tip number two, turn on your grid lines. Uh, in settings, uh, into your camera app, just toggle on grid on and off. This grid is based on something called the rule of thirds in photography and it'll help with uh, composition and uh, setting your subject matter uh, within the frame. Tip number three, adjust the exposure. Once you have your shot framed on the screen, you can tap on the place you want the iPhone to take its exposure reading from. The spot you choose is indicated by the yellow square and the iPhone will make adjustments accordingly. If you want to make further adjustments, you can drag your finger beside the yellow box up or down and make the exposure lighter or darker depending on what you're looking to do. Once you take the photo, your iPhone will reset back to the average exposure. Tip number four, exposure lock. If you want to lock the exposure so that when you take the photo, it doesn't reset, you press and hold the spot where you want the exposure reading to be taken from and the auto exposure lock will appear. You can now increase or decrease your exposure and it won't reset itself back to the average when you take an image. Tip number five, HDR. HDR stands for high dynamic range. Uh, basically what's happening here is the iPhone will take a series of images exposing for the lights, the darks and the midtones, and then mash them together into one image so that the exposure is more uniform. This is helpful when taking photos with bright areas and dark shadows. You can put HDR on auto, so in settings in your camera app and toggle on and off auto HDR. If you have auto HDR toggled off, the option of turning your HDR on and off in the camera app will be there. Tip number six, move in, don't zoom in. The best quality photos you can take on an iPhone are at its widest focal length. Zooming in will cause pixelation, so instead of zooming in, move in. Of course, we all need to zoom in sometimes. So right here, you will see a 1x, which stands for one time zoom. That is telling you that the iPhone is at its widest focal length. If you tap that 1x or one time zoom, the scene will zoom in to two times. On an iPhone, you can go all the way to 10 times zoom, but if you're looking to get good photos, I don't suggest zooming in past two and a half to three times zoom. So the further you go, uh, the more the image will break apart and get pixelated uh, and choppy. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Next week, I will post some examples of images I took using these functions. Just be forewarned, they are all sunset shots. Love it, hate it, who knows? But let's see how it goes. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.